Here at Marathon Coach, we have a coach washing procedure and some specific products that we use to wash our coaches. The first thing we do is we prep the coach to be washed. One of the first things you want to remember is not to wash the coach in direct sunlight. Try to find a shady area or early in the morning or maybe late in the afternoon. When we pull it into our wash rack, we drop the front of the coach so any water on top of the coach can drain off easily. A big help is to keep your coach waxed. You know, it greatly reduces the scratches and, and water spotting. If you were to go as far as have a TDS meter to measure the parts per million in the water, anything over 20 parts per million will leave water spots. And with a zero parts per million, we can let the coach drip dry. So we have a, a heated pressure washer in our wash rack, a suds system that we douse the coach in suds we use a microfiber mitt to scrub the coach. We have four specific buckets that we use for the coach washing. First one is a wheel bucket, and then we have the bug degreaser bucket, and then comes the shampoo. And then our fourth bucket is a rinse bucket. And when you're using a pressure washer, you wanna make sure that you don't get a too fine of a spray close to the coach. We don't wanna be damaging any paint. We have the special tools for washing the coach, like the microfiber mitt on the pole, the soft fender brushes. We have a Meguiar's product that we use specifically here, microfiber wash mitts, the Meguiar's Super Degreaser, Meguiar's Hyper Wash, and we use the Meguiar's Shampoo Plus. All right, first step under the wash procedure. Wet down all the wheels and tires and go around and scrub them first. Use that soft fender brush for the tires and mud flaps. The second step is windshield and the front of the coach. We're also going to do the mirrors and the, any of the stainless steel. And we use a dedicated mitt and a mitt on a pole. You spray on the super degreaser that we use and let it soak in a little bit. You want to keep it wet as much as possible. Scrub it off or rinse it off. Then let's go to step three. Washing the sides of the coach. We've got a special sedzer here that we suds down the whole side of the coach and then start scrubbing it. Using the microfiber mitt, of course. And then you wanna rinse, rinse it off real good. And one of the most extensive processes we have here is rinsing the coach. We don't wanna leave any soap residue on the, on the side of the coach. Okay, then go to the rear of the coach. Now, if you've driven in the rain or going over the mountain pass, you know the rear of the coach or even your tow vehicle can be very dirty and gritty. That's where that pressure washer or your hose comes in. You want to wash as much of that stuff off the rear of the coach or your tow vehicle as possible because you don't want to be scrubbing it in the paint and scratching the paint on those things. You wash it down, sets it real good, scrub it down and then rinse it off as best you can. If you're not using filtered water, you might want to have some microfiber towels on a pole so you can dry the coach off real well. You can use a squeegee, one of those squeegees to squeegee off the windows real well, but you don't want to use that on the paint. If you're using filtered water, you can let it drip dry and it won't cause any uh, water spotting on the coach. If you want to use tire dressings on your coach, you can refer to the hard copy that we have. You should be able to find it online. Hope this helps you guys to keep your coaches clean and scratch free. All right, you guys have a good day.